Greetings. This is Sarah Kanairi, a technical writer in the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to install cPanel and WHM on your server so that you can start automating your processes right away. This video doesn't cover installations to AWS instances, so if you need help with that, head over to our AWS video playlist. cPanel and WHM offers hosting providers the tools that they need to grow and manage their businesses. Their customers can use an easy interface to control virtually every aspect of their websites. Email tools, security features, domain management, and database management are all easy as pie, and hosting providers can expand these features with third-party plugins and customization. And remember, if you need help with your installation, just reach out. cPanel offers free installation assistance. So, thank you for choosing us. Now, let's get started with all the info for installing cPanel and WHM. To help you make sure we're the right choice for you, we offer free 15-day trial licenses for new servers. These licenses are available for servers with a static IP address that hasn't already been licensed with us. When you install cPanel and WHM on a new server, we'll automatically activate that license. But if it doesn't activate properly, get in touch with our customer service department and they'll get you all set. When you license your server, You'll also need to choose whether you want a dedicated, VPS, or cPanel Solo license. cPanel Solo licenses are for individuals or small businesses that will only need one user account to manage the server and a single hosting account. VPS licenses are for businesses that will need multiple users to get everything done. You should choose this kind of license if you're installing cPanel and WHM in a virtual environment. And finally, dedicated licenses are for data centers or larger web hosts that need multiple users on a dedicated server. Before you can start installing, you need to make sure that your system meets all of our system requirements. Your host name shouldn't match any of your server's domains, and it should resolve to a valid IP address. That IP address should be static, and you should have a valid subnet address and a default gateway address. You'll also need a one-to-one -one NAT configuration if your server's on a NAT-configured network. You're also going to need to configure your Ethernet device, disable any operating system firewalls, and disable the Network Manager service and SE Linux. It's a good idea to use YUM to make sure you don't have any unnecessary software sitting around on your server. Now, let's talk about your server itself. We support CentOS, Cloud Linux, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 6 and 7. If you want to use Cloud Linux, make sure to convert to Cloud Linux after installing cPanel and WHM. Installing Cloud Linux before you install cPanel and WHM can cause problems. Make sure to use a minimal version of your OS. Non-minimal versions often come with preloaded software that may cause conflicts with cPanel and WHM. For your file system, Make sure to use XFS or EXT4. You should be thinking about how you're going to handle backups and databases, too, so make sure you have separate drives or partitions for those. You want it to be a non-root partition, because otherwise quotas won't work. We have different requirements for each operating system version. If you want to run version 6 of any of these, check out our documentation for all the details. Here's what you need for version 7 a 1.1 GHz processor, a minimum of 1 GB of RAM, but we recommend at least 2 GB, plus at least 20 GB of disk space. Depending on the exact server configuration you're using, you might have to meet a few other requirements. When it comes to configuring cPanel and WHM itself, you've got a few options before you even install. You can add the www.account.conf file to pre-configure your basic setup information, like contact email addresses and name servers. The cPanel.config file handles lots of configuration settings for your cPanel and WHM features. Use the cpupdate.conf file to set the product version you want your server to run 
and use the cpsources.conf file to set where your server downloads updates from. If you don't want to use these files though, don't worry, they're optional. And now it's time for the main event, installing cPanel and WHM. First, let's log in to the server as root. You want to do this in a screen session so that interruptions don't force you to start over. Most Linux installations come with screen, but you can install it with yum too. Okay, let's navigate to the home directory. Use the curl command to download the latest version of cPanel and WHM. The sh command runs the installation script, and when it finishes, you'll have a shiny new server to work with. Now you can log into WHM and start running your cPanel and WHM server. Once your server is set up, we recommend that you go set up your backups, check out the contact manager interface and its settings, configure Easy Apache, and take care of any remote MySQL or DNS clustering that you want to use. For help, check out the rest of our WHM videos in the cPanel TV WHM playlist. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating.